Um, yeah, Swiss franc JPY, let's start from this one. Swiss franc JPY looks good today because it broke the resistance, major resistance, 162.0, the round number, and today is bullish. So next week may be bullish, and today this is an outside bar. Just a small recap on the outside bar. Um, here, let me just uh, cancel Ichimoku. Okay. Let me just delete these lines too. So outside means that the um, the candlestick, the most recent candlestick high and low are engulfing including the previous candlesticks like this. So the most recent candlestick is this one. This is bullish. And high is up here. And low is here on this candlestick. And this candlestick is including one, two, two previous candles. And this is called outside bar. This is an outside. This is one of the um, Sakata Goho. Uh, I have been making some videos about the strategy of him. And I do use also the Sakata Goho uh, candlestick patterns. And here on the daily, I find the Sakata Goho. So what this means is that uh, this can be the trend continuation pattern. Um, and also, um, yeah, so the market is uh, bullish now. In terms of the waves, it's bullish in wave. And now on the top of the bullish in wave, we have an outside bar. So this is a combination, in wave and outside on top. So whether the market continue to be bullish or not depends on whether the market breaks the outside bar bullish or not. If it breaks bullish, when the market opens next day, which is going to be Monday because today is Friday, when the market ma market opens Monday and if it closes above 163.951, then this becomes an outside bar breakout. Then the market tends to go up after the breakout candlestick. But if it breaks bearish on Monday, uh, which is 161.320 level, if it breaks uh, that level bearish, then the market may be bearish or it may be range also. It may consolidate. And this is unknown. Just because the bullish bar breakout bearish, um, it doesn't mean that the market goes bearish. Because again, this is bullish in terms of the end waves. So I do, this is my um, uh, concept of the trend follow strategy. Is I do use Ichimoku and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen, Chikou Span, Kuma also. But at the same time, I also see markets as a wave and when I see the end wave bullish then I wait for the breakout bullish on this outside then look for a buying opportunities on next Tuesday and onwards and and again this because this is end wave bullish even if the market breaks bearish it may be fake so most likely I won't trade in this scenario. So with that in mind, I monitor chart on Monday. And if it breaks, I follow uptrend. So this is how I apply the candlestick in the live market trace. Um, if you look at the past charts, then you can easier easily identify, okay, here is an outside and breakout and went bullish. And here too, this is an inside and breakout and bullish. If you look at the chart in the past, then you already know how the market was moving after these uh, patterns, candlestick patterns, so um, it may not be effective for you to practice. But here, we don't see the future market, 
And this is very, very uh, nice training to uh, view the market and monitor chart and see what happens after this. And outside can be a fake breakout. Uh, let's see if I can see some examples. Um, this is bearish. It has been bearish. So usually inside and outside bars break out bearish when it's bearish. Like this. So you see number of patterns outside bar and inside bars breaking bearish. So um, it can be with the tr major trend direction. So again, in this case, since the market has been bullish, I do expect the market breaks the outside bar bullish and then follow uptrend after it happens. And this is what I wait for on one of one pairs on watch list, the Swiss franc JPY. In this case, um, I simply put the alert above 163.951 in trading view, you can simply put the alert, just press the um, plus mark over here, and simply click add alert on Swiss franc JPY at 164.126, slightly above that level. So once the alert triggers, I come back Monday or Tuesday and see how it plays out. So. Um, when you see these candlestick patterns like um, um, doji or pinba breakout or inside a break, outside a breakout, you can also use these um, alert and uh, wait for the alert to trigger so that you don't have to keep watching and monitoring until you see the breakout confirmations. Uh, tomorrow I will be uh, uploading the part 5 of the candlestick series and uh, I will remind everyone about that about this alert concept and also the importance of the trend follow but uh, yeah this is today's video is just for the heads up okay so always follow the major trend direction you can capture the wave analysis or Ichimoku or both now Ichimoku shows it's bullish too. Um, Kumo is bullish. Kijun Sen is up. Tenkan Sen is also up. And Chikou span above candles. So no doubt this is bullish. Waves are also bullish. So I expect the market breaks the outside but bullish and follow uptrend. Okay, and one more thing to add to this is that sometimes when you say outside, then Next candlestick may be inside. So now, again, this is outside. And then on Monday, when the market opens, let's say opens here where the candlestick closes, and then it becomes bearish. Then this pattern is called inside bar. And then the next part, next candlestick may be bearish also. So when you see this Monday, Tuesday, most likely consolidates throughout the week, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday could be range. And when I see the market is in the range like this inside in the range, then I don't take trades either. I simply um, don't look at this market for opportunities, but check other pairs. Uh, and uh, see if I can find some better uh, opportunities or setups. So I also apply the candlestick patterns like this to uh, whether I take trades or not, or whether I select the pair to trade or not, like this way. Even if, the, if this is five minutes, it's the same. This, this one right now is a daily time frame. So this is for high time frame analysis. But let's say this is M5. Then I look for an entry confirmation. Then I wait for the outside of breakout to buy also. But if the market doesn't break the outside of bullish on the next M5 candlestick, but instead if the market goes bearish or inside, then most likely I don't take trade or I simply look for other entry confirmations than inside or outside of breakout. 
So I do apply Sakata Goho like this in high time frame or low time frame for my entries or exit even. In terms of the exit, for example, let's say this is again M5 because usually I take profit by 5 minute time frame. M5, I don't use Ichimoku, so let me just uh, cancel Ichimoku for, for now. Let's say I buy, for example, here. Then I keep following uptrend. Then when I see this outside of a breakout bearish, this can be one of my exit timings. Again, th let's say this is M5. I do exit, entry, exit by M5. So M5 shows it's bullish. Then I keep holding my trade, but if M5 shows reverse patterns like this outside a breakout or inside a breakout, then that's one of my exit confirmations. So like this, uh, that's how I also use the, um, the uh, exit timing for this uh, candlestick patterns. So outside, inside, you see these patterns so many times, very often among the markets. But uh, if you just see these and if you are able to confirm those patterns first and then wait for the breakout or um, wait for the breakout towards either bullish or bearish, then um, I think you get better idea for your trades. So um, yeah, I think tomorrow on the video part 5, I will explain that more details. But uh, I hope you continue to learn on my YouTube channel. I hope you become a non-losing trader. In Ichimoku community, I share the original knowledge of Ichimoku. In KTS Academy, I share my original strategy including risk and psychology management. In GTS, I mentor your trades and follow up one-on-one -on -one closely for the three months. Take a survey to find out which course suits you the best. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press like button and please subscribe. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you very much.